Hey everybody, welcome back to Common Sense EU4 Multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Quill, Mathis, and Arumba. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's going well. Thank you for asking. Let's let's war. Oh yeah, it's going well until you look at the diplomatic map bow and it's like, ah! Yeah, yeah. This, this is a pretty massive war. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone's involved except for Venice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Milan. And that's about it. That, that is true. <laughs> Okay, I'm scared because there's like 100,000 men right next to us. There are a lot. So a lot of the stuff in the West is going to slowly start getting sieged up. And really, we have to wait until like Russia deals with Poland and makes it over here. Yeah, the Ottomans in Russia are dealing with Poland and uh, Hungary right now. But it's not going to take them too long. Hey, Quill, there's an opportunity here. There's 24,000 that are kind of isolated right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm just seeing that. Now, yep, there France, was another army close by, though. France just went south into uh, Burgundy's capital, Bourgogne. So yep. we're we're clear here. Although it is in the woods, which sucks. Yeah, you remember any? Uh, one. Do you remember any? Uh, any bad battles in the woods yeah, at all? No. <laughs> does, that, does that ever happen to you? I'm just. Curious. No, never. I guess I'll lead. It's fine. I had I'll to wait for the, the second damage. clump to go. I hadn't realized you were moving. Feels yeah. like it's going fast, even though it's only speed two. It's like holy crap, man! Stack wipe, in the woods. See, Look at that. Yeah, Was it in Aachen last time too? I feel like it may have been. Maybe not. Um, Limburg, Cleve, Cologne. I, th I think it may have been. Yeah. It's one of these three. It's either Aachen or Cologne. I think it was Aachen. Do not go to Aachen. Only death waits for you there. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna go for the nine stack because they're in the plains. Peace offer from Hamburg. We'll start separate piecing out people. Wait, really? You can separate. Pe oh, I guess it's not a coalition. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a big coalition war, except that you you can actually separate piece Good, everyone. Given Hamburg mm. to me. Eh. No, what's going to happen is the Roomba's just going to take, like, all the money from everyone. Yeah. <laughs> one step at a time. This is his master plan. You well, should think, uh, force oh, religion on them. I was going to say, we're going after these guys, right? Yeah, I'm coming. I, I was... You, I think we get, we're get. we allies in a war. I think the attach button actually works <gasps> for players. My God. I don't, I don't think I've ever, I've ever no. used it before. But. Great Bitten's taking care of my, uh, my separatists. That's good. I have no idea where the French stack went. I think it's actually, okay, 67,000 in Spain. Yeah, that's pretty standard. If Spain is in the war, they just get owned by France. They just keep France busy for us. Yeah. Gonna hang on, friendly stupid, stupid sexy Flanders is over there <laughs> causing problems for Great Britain. Unsiege this. Let my morale recharge. Have a little sip of juice. Mm. Don't you have an adjacent fort that'll do that for you automatically? Yeah, there is no I fort that will sip morale. juice. Charge. There's no what? No There's line? no fort that'll sip juice for him. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, hold on. I'm getting this. Oh, I'm so um, Turn the other cheek. Do I want? Damn, I have no, I have no manpower left. I mean, I have millions of manpower. <laughs> Am I really getting attrition here? Zero point two percent. See, that's just a slap in the face. So because I have no manpower, I'm willing to help you against the 30,000 Burgundians that are sieging your homeland. Mm -hmm. But I think someone else to go. The Ottomans are going in. Go, yeah, go. Let's let, we'll let the Ottomans tank it, though. I'll just bring cannons. Oh, that's Mostly. an idea. Stack wipe on Denmark. Sorry, buddy. Russia is not doing what I want them to do. Which is... They're attacking Sweden instead of Poland. It's yeah, creating some genuine issue here. <laughs> right. Um, well, that is the problem that Sweden is, and Denmark, and yeah, they're all in this. Is Sweden still, yeah, I guess they're still under Denmark. I don't think Denmark's really a problem anymore. I'll take a look at their army real quick. I feel like I wiped them. Yeah, they have 6,000 men with 9,000 manpower. That's all they got. And they keep Rimbus building their tr their troops like right next to me. So this is unfortunate that all your rebels are firing during this war. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would have preferred it if it was, you know, <laughs> something you. Yeah. Had. <laughs> but hey, you know, Great Britain will take care of it for you if you just let them. Well, here comes Great Britain, Ryan, to save you. We're all kind of friends today. It's weird. It is weird. This is That's a special. Nice. Special recording session where we only record one video and we're all friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, next time we do a series, we should all start as like, I don't know, sub-Saharan Africa and 
have to like take <laughs> Vienna or something as a goal. That would be cool, actually. I like this cannon idea, although that'll probably lead to a river crossing penalty. No, no, maybe not. Mm -hmm. That's my first, my first ever uh, co-op or multiplayer at U4 was sort of co-op where we were all playing SUNY and we wanted all of Europe under control. That wasn't How so long did that take? Not that much, although like I had a, I was in like Morocco. This is early on. I really wasn't much of an EU4 player yet. So I started in Morocco. And so I, I had like limited influence until very late in the game. But it was a good time. We made it before the end. We took a uh, yeah, literally I think every part of Europe was under our command. <laughs> Not everything was converted to Sunniism yet. Sunniism. Sunniism. <laughs> is that is that how you say it? I don't know. When you, when you just say Sunni. I suppose. I guess I don't it's know. It's weird, though. It's like converted... To, I guess the same way as you might say converted to Catholic. Wow, all of your rebels are firing. Yeah. It's weird. What's up with that? I don't know. I don't have the, the so discontent. I've got a little bit of war exhaustion. I should probably burn down. Yes, yeah, it's, I'm, it's I'm, all war exhaustion. Like I said, today's a day of friendly... I'm being, I'm being mm. friendly. I haven't done anything. Anybody. Just a nice guy. This cat is so annoying. <laughs> oh my god. It's like meowing up a storm. No, it's just like he comes up here being like Shit super lovey. He's coming back. And then he now he like wants to get out and then he wants to sit up and then I give him like a space to sit, but he's like, No, I want to sit on your mouse. And I'm like, You can't <laughs> sit on the mouse. He's like, he No, gets you don't mad. understand. Yes, I can. Get yes, open the door. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I just I just did it, so I can. <laughs> yeah, you are gone. <sighs> Ow. There's a policy you can enact if you have uh, spy ideas and economic that increases rebel support efficiency by another 50%. <laughs> so <laughs> so dirty. I, I <clears throat> think that that would allow you to raise unrest by 8%. That sound right? That's very substantial. That seems crazy. Wait on that policy. Oh, how many? No, not yet. Oh, here we go. Come on, Ottomans. Chase him down. Ottomans doing something over at your end, too? I believe in you. Yeah. Yeah, they should be. They're, like, chasing down Poland within my country. <laughs> and nice. You, and your civilians on the sidelines, like, cheering them on, like, yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> go Sunni! Uh, so I could send some troops down there. It might be Shia, actually. The Ottomans are so large, the religion map mode is useless for them. Oh, they're half Orthodox. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they took, like, all of... I think Grim, the Ottomans are going to lose that fight unless we... Uh... Okay, they got reinforced. I jumped in, but my troops suck because my prestige is so bad. And, and the Ottomans get... are jumping in some more, so That's they're going to be okay. Yeah. Oh, I, can, I can't get any momentum because... Like, I, I siege down one province, and then Poland comes for me, and I gotta, like, look around and see if the AI is close enough, and then it's a crapshoot whether or not they're gonna come in anyway. Alright, well, I'm gonna sow discontent in uh, France, Poland, Lithuania, Sweden. Cool, sounds good. <laughs> sounds fantastic. Have, okay. Yeah, have fun, guys, with your unrest. You bastards. They've got peasants. If you look at uh, Sweden, like, just a random schmaland. Or whatever you pronounce it, it's two two and a half percent unrest. Just random provinces. I I have got to say I uh, at least in single player I think that espionage ideas are just complete garbage. But this has been the most engaging idea group I think I've ever used <laughs> in a multiplayer campaign. I like, think they're not very strong in single player because the AI doesn't expand as aggressively and tends to be a lot more stable. Yeah. But players, we're always pushing the limits, and then all of a sudden the limits are different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, it, and especially if you vary y your application of your abilities. Like if you, like if I just put Soka Discontent on you all the time, you'll get used to it. But yeah, if you vary it, it really gets tough to plan around. Friesland is about to get stomped by Burgundy. I'm really tempted to get that uh, economic idea policy. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't do that to you guys. No, I, no, of course not. Not, not today. Now, now that we're friends. Forever. Not, to, not today. Yeah, there's just not enough time today. Friday, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, but economic or administrative is so good though with that core creation cost. Yeah, you're a fan of that? I so, love that. Is it what, twenty percent? Twenty five percent. Twenty five percent. It's a pretty big discount, so you have a lot of points. Mm-hmm. Thirty eight percent. I'll separate piece out. <laughs> oh man, those modifiers. <clears throat> And they all have high uh, war enthusiasm still. Yeah, but if you look at it, like their enthusiasm would be at low if it wasn't for the religious league cast a spelly. Mm. Like we're kicking their butt. It's Religion ruins sure. everything. <laughs> like the only way to piece somebody out is to occupy their capital. And even then, it takes some effort. I still have no manpower at all, so I'm just kind of hanging out in the mountains. We're ha we're on vacation right now, letting the Ottomans in Spain do their job. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Bless you. I hope you die. <laughs> I'm fine. Austrian troops in Saxony. Yeah, there's two. Yeah, not not able to siege anything. I'm just gonna let him hang out there while I siege down their fort. Just a bunch of guys standing outside the front door, being like, "Sounds oh. good to me." Oh, I didn't realize you had uh, you had already gone for economic ideas on the line. Oh, did I finish them? Yes. <laughs> Shouldn't you know? Oh, I just finished them. Yeah. yeah. I'm about halfway through. Economics, a it's a good idea group in this patch because of the development and building and everything. I think it got buffed. Thank, Thank you. Thank Ottomans you. are gonna assault uh, some Burgundian troops. I think finally, like, not that this matters much to you guys, but Austria and Hungary are, like, out. But freaking Poland is so annoying. It's the smallest Hungary I've seen in a long time. These Ottomans, though. It's a good yeah. thing they're on our side in this war. Holy cow. Yeah, the Ottomans are going to be a scary That's going to be if the they, big problem. If they finish Austria, then they're going to be bordering me and Northern Lion. Just Once you fun. think Poland is dead, they just come back with like another 30,000 troops that they scraped out of like middle school or something like that. <laughs> so annoying. I'm not worried about the Ottomans because my plan is still to leave Europe. Screw all y'all. <laughs> Ottomans, are, they've already rivaled me, so I'm a bit concerned. We've got problems. Yeah, at least you still have a tiny buffer, but it's not going to last very long. Mm-hmm. Prussia claims to fight for the faith. Well, good for you, Prussia. Good job, yeah, no Mathis. Problem. I'm here. I'm here for the what? The faith? Is you defender of the faith? No, no it's... Uh, it, I'll just read it. It says, uh, Not all of the League joined our side to fight the Protestant cause. Many have simply chosen our side because it is poli politically expedient. Word from Prussia, however, is that they truly care about our plight and see the League as a religious alliance first and foremost. Going That's to battle right. knowing that they are doing God's work. Mm. I'm here for so you must have had an event, yes. and depending on what you chose... It yeah, affected uh, different buffs. Mm -hmm. Cool. In What'd your, you get? In like, your opinion, 10% uh, more morale for army. Oh, that's awesome. That's really good. Wow. Yeah, that's solid. Because not only do you have like, more morale hit points, you do a little more morale damage, right? It's based yes. on maximum morale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not even current morale. Prussian space marines. Papal states <laughs> of allied Burgundy, all right. Yes. Ottomans, take your 51,000 men back to the east. Just nothing happened in the west. Even uh, Spain has kicked France out of there, so I don't know. Nice. I mean, France might be coming to us. Oh, I guess they're down here. Attacking the puny stack of the Teutonic Order in Savoy. There's, like, Poland is 31,000 men, 3,000 manpower. So they just need, like, one bad battle against the Ottomans. Mm -hmm. And then they're over. They're, they're done. Friesland, stop suiciding. Crying out loud. Oh, that's a big, fat, scary stack. Okay. Is it Polish? Uh, yep. I'm telling you, dude. Where? Oh, the 31 with a three-star general. Yeah, Poland doesn't give a shit about death at all. They're coming. <laughs> all right, I have, to, I have to fight them here. All right, this is going to be scary. We'll see how I do. We're here to Polish you off. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Growing number of heretics. Oh, I'm going to oh. lose. That's you sad. should retreat, retreat, retreat. I'm trying. Yeah. 
Yeah, especially the naval battles. I'm like, click, 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 click. <laughs> Run, goddamn you. <laughs> Go away, stupid flag bullshit. On a vacation I'm just, back at home, friends. Everyone's fighting this war, and I'm just sitting here looking for who I can peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Denmark still wants in this? So no, they still their capital. Wow. Oh. What would you consider, like, a really high number for war exhaustion? Like, when would you feel like, okay, this is getting kind of out of hand? Ten. That, ten would be, like, horribly bad. Yeah. Once it starts yeah. to hit, like, five, that's really when you start to notice it. Like, oh, everything is shitty. What's going yeah, on? Cause it, because it, it offsets your uh, your tolerance, I think, is is the reason. But Denmark's got 9.2, and they're at high enthusiasm. Oh, Hell yeah. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> Such crazy bullshit. Can you not sort by war enthusiasm? It says you can, but it's not letting me. No. Why would, why would you be allowed to actually sort using these clearly indicatable sort by buttons? I can sort on the friendly side, although it always leaves mines up top, I guess because you're the war leader. Yeah, so the sort button doesn't do much. Basically. Oh, the mileage Polish Mayberry. troops are so bad, man. <laughs> They're like, hey, it's we're back. Like, they just show up <laughs> like, oh, you were about to finish the siege? Okay, I'll tell you what, we have like a three-star general and 50% <laughs> more troops than you. Let's see how that siege goes. And you're like, oh, fuck you. They have, that's that's like the all of their army, though, because they have 3,000 manpower, so they have no manpower left. And they if have I could, 22, that's like, that is like their entire army right there. Yeah, man, but if I could just convince, I got to convince the Ottomans to come up there. Oh, there, there they, go. they go. Oh, finally. Mm -hmm. That'll wipe out almost all of the Polish army now. All right. Westphalia is holding back with his 20k manpower. He's got more manpower than almost anyone. I'm, hey, I'm still reinforcing my current army. I got to worry about these fuckers. And apparently I've got nothing but rebels. I got that's, not like my, that's not my fault, at least today. I mean, in general, probably, yeah. <laughs> and I just don't know. Like, I guess I could swing all the way to the east with these troops, but, hey, they'd get a lot of attrition, and then I'm sure something's going to go terrible at home. Hey, they're dead. Chase them down. I'm not chasing them down. You chase them down. No, I'm too far away for that shit. The Teutonic Order's on it. Friesland's going to head out again, probably get itself killed. It says, when I, when I go to support someone's rebels, it says 150% rebel support efficiency... And then it shows local unrest plus two, and the slider takes it from two to four. But I could have sworn last time it actually did 50% more than that, didn't it? Or am I going crazy? I don't remember. Well, let's find out. Tech level. Yeah. Oh, my leader died. In a war? Huh. That's what, minus two stability? No, nah, just like he died of old age. Your leader or your general? Like your king. Oh, or my your leader, my leader. Oh, well, if he dies during the war, even if it wasn't in combat, it's minus two. I only lost one. Still if he's leading, if he's leading a siege, or he's in a battle. He wasn't in a battle or a siege. Just died from being old. Oh, he's just he was just hanging out. Okay. Yeah. Then you should just lose one. Cool. Huh. I could have sworn that it, it was it was increased by fifty percent, but it didn't. It doesn't look like it does. I don't understand why. Peace offer from Hungary. Hmm. No, yeah, actually, they're full occupied. No, they're not. They're half occupied. Yeah. Do what you want. Ottomans, Ottomans are continuing to cause problems for them. We have 91 war score against the Ottoman, uh, against <laughs> Hungary. <laughs> There's Poland's huge fucking army still. Teutonic Order, run! Or fight them, actually. You're doing well. Friesland's going to get... Blown up again, maybe stack wiped. Nope, not stack wiped. Man, the Teutonic Order cannot take no. that Polish force, man. Not anymore, they can't. It was 22 against 7. It's alright. Gotta like those, those war reparations. Mm hmm. <laughs> Damn war leader stuff. <laughs> yeah, it should. There should be an option so that the. Like, I feel like if it's like a league war or something, all the money should be split equally amongst the participants. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can pick an aspect of faith finally. Nice. Or like in a like in a coalition war too. Maybe not war reparations, but like at least like the, just the monetary concessions should be split. I think Denmark's going to be the mm -hmm. next one out. Probably. Oh, the Ottomans are fighting in my territory. The, uh, oh my god, Poland! <laughs> like, Yo, we're back! What's oh. up? 
Nobody deals the killing blow. They just go home, make a few more babies. Exactly. And they come back with the same amount of troops. <laughs> I'm so mad. What the hell, man? Ottomans, you kicked the hornet's nest in uh, in Luchit. Yeah, that's a bad fight. Why is he doing that? Uh, I mean, he he's got a... maximum co combat width, but still. <laughs> that's crazy. He's right. nuts. Oh, he he did run. go in with like two to one, but didn't count for all the reinforcements. And I'm not jumping in there. No, that's going to be a lost fight. But we have oh. we have 40 war score for battles. It doesn't even matter. Poland is scared. Poland yes. is scared. Run from me. Hey, not line. We've won 69% of battles, just so you know. Oh, for he's a jolly good fellow. I mean, those troops in uh, Luchit, or whatever you called it, they're losing more men to attrition than they probably just did in that battle. It's really funny. Out. A big stack. Well, they're gonna win that siege. Seventy-seven percent chance right now, <laughs> with all these extra cannons and probably some good siege leader guy. God, I love good siege leaders. No, they only have a plus one from that. Huh. Right. I must be losing my mind. I could have sworn that the support rebel efficiency thing increased the unrest. I just don't know why it doesn't work anymore. Because reasons. Did the bell go off? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nobody else knows, but this was scheduled not on the same day as the rest. Mm -hmm. Correct. Weird Monday session. <laughs> What's up with this? Good place to pause it since we're not going to finish this war anytime soon. I don't know why they're obsessed with sieging me as opposed to other people. Oh, no, they're. No, I thought they were going to walk into mines, but no. Going somewhere Yo else. Johan Adam of 554 Air. What? Hey. Of course, I've got a 231 right now, so I'm kind of paying for it, but. <laughs> It's a pretty good air. Just give this like another. Oh, I, never mind. I thought that uh, Ottomans were going to be nice and uh, attack Polish troops, but they decided to walk away instead. <laughs> Despite them having a numerical advantage and a three star general as well. Oh, but they're only level 12. Uh, they're only level 12, too. I don't know. Where are the uh, highlands? Is highlands like hills or mountains? Minus one or it's, minus two? It's, it's hills. It's minus one. Mountains are the only one that's minus two. Okay. That and uh, Desert Mountain. But it says the mount it has the word mountain in it. Well, that makes sense, I suppose, then. Oh, mm. the Teutonic Order just feeding Poland again. Do you remember when mountains were minus three? Yeah. It's not like Dota, Ryan. They don't get little level up or get They are anything. gonna take, you know, prisoners of war and fold them into their collective. <laughs> and they'll be back stronger <laughs> they than don't ever. Work like the Borg either. <laughs> Mountains were minus three, but like it'd be like ninety five percent mountains, five percent grasslands, and you'd get freaking attacked, and it'd be like, oh, five percent. This time we're fighting the grasslands. Like, <laughs> really, really, come on. Yeah, well, because back then it wasn't actually. It was misleading. It wasn't a percentage. It wasn't like a chance. Oh, it was. Back, Ryan. Oh. Your maneuver factored into it. Like They're it coming was, uh, for you. Yeah. Like if you had, if you had, if you're off, if the offender, the offender had more maneuver than the defender then he pretty much got to choose whichever type of terrain out of those types of terrain would be best for him. Mm -hmm. Which is a completely Fire convoluted, confusing... War. Well, I mean, I do like that idea, right? That sort of makes sense. If you're better at maneuvering, then you'll get favorable terrain. But that's what they just do with the river crossing now. I'm like, oh, okay, no, that's fine. I and less random. Matt, I'm Ottomans. so mad at you right now. Why mad at me? Because when we beat the Polish army last time, they walked within one province of your occupied territory... Just waiting to be smacked down, and you're like, no, nah, that's too far. The Ottomans <laughs> are going to go wipe them out, and actually, right now, with so low morale, they might actually just get stack wiped. I hope so. Oh, yeah. And they're, and and they're cannon heavy, too. Okay, they get a tick of uh, morale because the month went. But, like, their icon on the map is cannons as opposed to infantry, which means their front line's going to crumble quickly. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ottomans. You really saved the day just in time. They're getting minus two and rolling zeros, but, okay, there we go. That's a bit better. Oh, wow, zero. Poland Jesus. got a three-star general. Yeah, Absolutely. right. Mm -hmm. Thank God the Ottomans didn't do that uh, earlier. That would have been far too easy. Why are the Ottomans? That's the third zero they rolled. Come on. There the Ottomans go. are attacking some Puritan heretics in oh my uh, God. Zealand. Oh Rush them reasons. down. We have an obligation to the world <laughs> to kill them off completely. Yes. <laughs> Victory at Amsterdam. Gain general of fifty tradition. Uh, uh, okay. Oh shit! This League war, yada yada yada. Three stacks of peasants popped in uh, Denmark. Well, and there goes Denmark. Ten percent. You you're gonna be shit. making so much money. 
<laughs> well, somebody's got to do it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Someone, someone's got to someone's got to profit what from all this war. What am I getting out of this fucking war? Nothing. I well, can't. You, I can't you go into said you were here stuff. for the Protestant faith. That's what you you clicked the button. That's what oh. you told me. Ah. Oh, <laughs> dick. Fucking rebel spawned right under some just random troops. I'm moving out of the way to reduce attrition. Do we want to pause? That's gonna be. Ah. There we, we go. Wanna, do we want to pause? Before That's we, like uh, the fourth set of nationalists you've had this war. This is so annoying. Yeah, but I'm getting to the end of them. <laughs> You're going to run out of different types of separatists soon. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to well, lose a stupid battle because of that. That is so fucking annoying. The 29 on 12? Well, I'm getting minus two. The problem is, I moved, like, I was leaving a stack in Holland, and I didn't want full attrition, so I, like, split off half my infantry to just move over there, so they didn't have a leader. So they got slaughtered. My front line, I don't know. It might be fine. It'll could probably be fine, but it's too costly. Just, just retreat in two days. Yeah. It's not a big deal. I may have to. We'll see how it works. I'll probably okay. be okay, but I'm worried. Because I hate battles. <laughs> you hate battles? This is too much randomness. I mean, unless you stack it like crazy amounts, but... Good. Goodbye. Uh, all right. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another episode. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, though, thanks for watching, and we'll uh, see you next time. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs>